In this video, we will discuss the recovery point objective, otherwise known as RPO, monitoring, and if compliant with the RPO times established. RPO is the maximum time interval allowed between the last suitable recovery point for a failover and the current time. So in creating and checking RPO monitoring, we will go to Disaster Recovery and then Servers. You will see Recovery Servers and Primary Servers. Each has an RPO compliance setting to see if you are within the times established for your RPO. If you go to the RPO compliance column and click on this, you will see the actual RPO compared to the RPO threshold that was established. So let's stay on primary servers and create a primary server. The settings for this video we will focus on is to set an RPO threshold. When you click on this, you can set the time in either hours, minutes, or days. If you chose minutes, you could set this between 15 and 60 minutes. For days, you can set this from 1 to 14 days. And for hours, you can set this between 1 and 24 hours. This is defining the RPO that you want to achieve. When you create the primary server, you will see if the RPO is compliant against what was to be the threshold compared to the actual RPO. This was the reason why you would set the RPO and to see if it was meeting your compliancy. In this case, the primary server was compliant because the actual RPO was seven hours and we established this for one day. If we go to our recovery servers, you will notice that this one was not in compliancy. And that is because the actual RPO was five hours when we had an RPO threshold of 15 minutes.